guys, Alexandra here, and I hope everyone is having a very safe and happy 4th of July today and this weekend. Let me know down below, are you celebrating today or are you waiting till this weekend? I know some people like to wait till the weekend after, some people like to do it the weekend before. I myself, I kind of struggle a little bit with this holiday just in general and really any holiday that has fireworks festivities. Um, I do have a little bit of PTSD that I still struggle with from my time in the military. I was explosive ordnance disposal. So I have a little bit of a rough time. So I figure what better way than to make light of today and kind of sit back and relax and do my own thing and what I love to do than talking about and playing in makeup because you guys know that's like my favorite thing to do and i've got some products here that i've been trying out and testing from ColourPop, juvia's place i've got some dupes i've got all kinds of goodies that i have been trying out over the course of the last couple weeks that i want to tell you guys about what worked what didn't what i like why all that kind of thing so without further ado let's get on into it so as you guys can tell, I do not have anything on my face right now because as most of you may know, to have a beautiful and flawless makeup application, you have to start with a nice clean slate. And I just wanna get up close to the camera because I really want you guys to see this. Like, do you see this? Normally I have a ton of breakouts, like especially in here and down here on my chin and then right here on my cheeks. And I don't really have anything going on other than my normal like hyperpigmentation sunspots from not taking care of my skin when I was younger and this is why I wanted to talk to you guys about this little baby right here um and I don't know if I can get you guys but there we go do you see it can you see it there we go sorry bright light so this is the radiant spin care system from Duval and I will link it down below and I also do have a coupon code for you guys now I will say I was sent this free for review and as you all know I don't talk about anything Thing on my channel like this ever ever because I get contacted by companies and I get sent stuff free for review all the time and I'm only gonna put something on this channel that I absolutely love myself and use and it works you know what I'm saying and that's what this is so I just want to show you this little clip real fast Hey guys, welcome back to the wonderful wide world of my bathroom. Never thought we would end up back in here. Anyways, I just real quick wanted to show you guys why I love this thing so much and why it is different from other ones like it because as you see, I do and have owned other ones, but I'm just gonna show you this. Like it like barely goes and now it's not gonna do it. It like quits, like literally. Yeah, did you see that, how it quit? So anyways, so that was like after a week and a half of owning this. So I've had this for over two weeks now, as you can see, have used the crap out of it and it did not quit. And I've also used this little thing, which I'm sure you guys all know, the Luna Fofo. And I have to say that this thing honestly works a million times better and doesn't cause like the pulling of your skin and all that because my biggest thing is I wanna get my pores really clean. So I just wanna show you this real, real fast, like I said. So I've already you know, used a makeup wipe and I've wiped my face off really good and washed it. So I wanna show you like how much more this gets and how little soap you have to use. So again, I'm just gonna kind of re-wet my face here. And I'm just gonna put this on right here because um, I know a lot of people got it in their BoxyCharm not too long ago. So literally, you just need a little tiny drop, that's it. And that's the other thing that like saves so much soap like from being wasted. And then you just turn it on and then put it just flat against your skin. So now that I have my face all soapy, I'm gonna use a white towel just so you guys can see it, like how much it that just got off, like all the extra makeup and crap that just got off. Like, can you see that? That was all like in my pores. Do you guys see that? Like a little bit of like yellow right here. I mean, not a lot. I mean, I do a pretty good job washing my face, but that was like all in my pores. So that's why I honestly was really impressed by that thing. And I just wanted to show you guys. 
So one of the reasons I really wanted to share this with you guys is because I'm sure most of you have been here on my channel for a while, you know, I am really addicted to like pore strips and like face masks and getting my pores cleaned out like really, 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 really well. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard from that dermatologist that did that whole thing on mask and how like the pore strips and the peel mask are actually really bad for your skin because of the tugging. And so I quit using them, but my pores were getting really, really gunked up. And on top of that, I was getting a lot of breakouts and things like that. And after I got sent this thing and it actually worked, and as you guys seen, I've owned other ones before. Like normally they break after a week or they just don't work that well, you know, because I'm kind of cheap. I get the cheap ones. But this one is a $100 uh, spin care system that is now for $28.50 with a code that I'm gonna give you guys my champion. So you can get this at 70% off, which I thought was a really good deal, um, especially for what it does because it's got, like I said, the face wash and then it's got the exfoliator brush. So I go in with the face wash one, then the exfoliator, and then the, the body brush I use in the shower. I haven't used the pumice stone yet, but the other ones I have been using and absolutely loving. So I really, really just wanted to share that with you guys because it was an amazing product and it has made such a huge difference in my skincare routine and getting everything really, really clean. So the next product I wanna to talk to you guys about are these Color Pop blush sticks right here. So I got two of them. I got one in the color Mini Me and then one in the color More Is More. And the reason why I'm showing you guys these next is because the one thing I like about these, and so this is More Is More, and as you can see, it's got kind of like a shimmer to it a little bit. So if you like more of a shimmer blush, you would probably like this. And then and mini me I got that one because it doesn't have a shimmer to it and it's a little bit of a lighter just light pink blush you know so depends on what kind of you know blush you like as you guys know I really like my peachy tones ones but sometimes I like a lighter pink one but the reason I wanted to show you guys these is because I really like these guys for makeup days and no makeup days. So there are some days where I don't really like to wear a ton of makeup, but I do like to put just a little blush on my cheek, just like that, and that's what I love about this. Just put a little of that, and then some mascara, and a little lip, and go on my happy way, and it is just so cute, and it doesn't take much at all. Like, as you guys just saw, it's just like a little bit, and it's just very soft and it's got like a little bit of a sheer to it, but not a lot as you can tell. It just gives you just enough color just to look a little flushed, which is the entire point of blush. The other reason I really like these, which I will show you when we are doing our makeup, is because you guys know how I told you I would like a blush that actually stays. Voila, so this is a cream product. So you can actually set it with your powder and everything. So while you're putting all your other cream products on, you add this on, then set it with your powder and it actually stays way, way longer than any of my powder blushes have to date. So I am really, really loving these blush sticks by ColourPop, totally worth it. Totally glad I decided to try them out. All right, so let's talk primer because that's what we need next. So I don't know if you guys remember that really, really good Smashbox moisturizing primer that they don't even make anymore and I'm so upset about it, but it was like $42. And I had like a bunch of little bottles like this one right here, but I ran out of it and then they quit making it and it kind of stunk. But somebody was telling me that this, the Catrice Prime and Fine aqua fresh hydro primer right here was a dupe for that so I have been trying this out and I have to say and I'll show you guys it looks very very similar to it it goes on it's a little more watery but in a good way it's like very very hydrating and it works really really well it's not sticky it's it's just a really nice hydrating primer so I wanted to show you guys this and this is what I'm getting ready to put on my face right now and a little bit goes a long way 
So this next product, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a review on and to check out. So here it is. It is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. And I also did get the concealer. So we're going to talk about this in a minute, but let's talk about this first. So overall price point wise, this is amazing. It is only $20. You do get uh, 30 milliliters or one whole ounce of product which is pretty amazing. So this is the color uh, Cebu 10, as you can see there. Now it is a little bit lighter than what I was wanting, but it works for me. I can definitely make it work, you know, contour, that kind of thing. Now I will tell you guys, this is definitely, definitely full coverage and a little bit goes a long way. Now, a lot of people were telling me to um, use this with a brush. So I did try it with a brush. Me, myself, I was not a fan. I did not like the, the way the brush looked as well as my beauty blender. So, you know, that's just me. It's personal preference. Everybody, you know, likes something different. But I, I honestly, there's not a lot of foundations I have found that I like better with a brush. They're, they're very, very few and far between. So, um, and I just literally put like, I mean, I just literally squeeze like a tiniest bit out and just let it touch my finger and then suck it back in because again, a little bit goes a very, very long way. And you guys will see, I mean, like, uh, it's, it's crazy, but this is definitely a full coverage foundation for sure. So, I mean, if you're looking for that coverage and I'll show you guys here in just a second with my tattoo, like just how full coverage of, of a foundation this is. Um, so if you want a very, very full coverage foundation and, a like a really good full coverage foundation. So it's going to give you the coverage and not crack and cake and all that kind of stuff. This definitely has that, but I will say, you know, a lot of people that are older and, you know, have more like fine lines and wrinkles and that kind of thing, you might not like this as well because it is so full coverage and it will kind of sink in certain areas. Like I really have to definitely dab those areas out really, really well and set them very, very well with a powder. But overall, I actually really like this foundation. And I mean, this was just a little bit, I mean, this is just as much coverage as my regular foundation. And I mean, that was just like a very, very tiny, tiny bit. So it is a very good foundation. I do like it, but I mean, it builds quickly, you guys. Like it is super, super full coverage for real. So, um, and one thing I do like to do with it is I like to use it to like really mask some of my sunspots and things like that. And then go back over, you know, like use it for certain areas and then use my other foundation for the other areas where I don't need as much coverage and I do have more fine lines like up in here and like around here and that kind of thing but I did want to show it to you guys it is a very very smooth finish it is matte but it's not super matte um I do overall really like it and enjoy it and I think it is a great price point and a great foundation all together Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is this bad boy right here. So this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. And as you can see, I got the color Magic Concealer 22. Now it is the exact same shade, and I mean almost identical, to the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer C6. Okay, now that's not all. <laughs> it is almost the same exact formula. I love it so much, you guys. I mean, like you guys know, my favorite was Fenty until I found the Magic Star and I barely use this because I love it so much. And now I, I think I'm just going to like go ahead and use it up because I think I might even like this one a little bit better. Like it's got a really fat doe fit, which I don't really like for my concealer, but I don't mind with this one because I mean, it's just such an amazing product. I mean, it's so amazing and it works so, so well and it lasts all day and it just, I mean, like 
it, I just, there's just so many things. I mean, just, it, it is literally everything I want in a concealer. It doesn't crack, it doesn't crease, it lightens, it just does everything that I want it to. And again, with this, like as you can see, normally I bring my concealer up a little bit goes a long way, you guys. I'm just saying, like, just the same as the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer. So, yeah, I'm just saying. And that's the other thing that I like about it. It doesn't crease your under eye area. I mean, look at that. Ooh. I mean, I haven't even like buffed it all out yet. But I mean, that is just perfection. Oh, I love it so much. And I don't have to contour nearly as much using this. Speaking of contour, so as you guys know, I normally use the Hula Quickie Contour Stick right here. But I've told you guys this before and I wanted to reshare this dupe again because I absolutely love it. And I'm almost out of this, so I went ahead and re-picked up another one of these. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Plus Balance um, Foundation. And I love it because it is a stick and it works almost exactly the same way as the Hula Quickie Contour Stick, but without... I mean, look at that. They're the same color. So, oh, by the way, this is in the toffee caramel color. So as you can see, they're almost identical. And I honestly, I, I think I really love this more. Like I did one side and then the other, the other day and Cadence was like, yeah, mom, I like that side more. She's like, did you use the hula on that side? I was like, no, I used the Maybelline. So yes, I really, really do love this. And it has, I don't know if you guys can see a little thing here in the center. So that's the other thing. I tilt mine to the side so I don't use that but if you want it a little bit of a lighter contour and you don't want to go as heavy with it you can turn it that way and it'll give you that little mix right there I mean look at how nice that buffs out like ooh, was she born with those cheekbones <laughs> All right, so now that we've got our face contoured, let's go back to our ColourPop blush sticks. And we're just gonna dab a little bit on each side. A little bit goes a long way, unless you really, really want your blush to show. And then you can always add more. And then I just kinda do this like with my finger because it just warms up that product and really gets it exactly where I want it. You know, not anywhere else and I just love it so much and it just again it gives you that nice beautiful flushed look you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and for this I'm gonna be using the hourglass veil translucent setting powder I've kind of re been revisiting this here lately I don't know why I know this is a dupes video I've been looking for a dupe for it and if and when I find one I will let you know so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about are these ColourPop lippy sticks because they are so amazing. So I am wearing the first color I'm going to show you, which is this one right here. And this is what it looks like swatch and it is called Day Trip. They are just, these things are just amazing. Like they're matte. Now I barely dab that on and I mean barely just, da, 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 you know, just patted it on rub my lips together and as you can see it gives you just like a very like not super crazy dark red it's just a faint corally very pretty summer lipstick and I don't normally like mattes in the summer and honestly I'm really picky about my mattes in general anyways but these are very very comfortable to wear they are very moisturizing on your lips they're not drying at all. They don't cake up. They don't crease. You can turn around and reapply these later. Honestly, they're absolutely fabulous. So I want to show you my next color that I got, which is called Brink. And I absolutely love this. Oh my God, you guys. This one is just, oh, it is just the perfect I mean, just everything, brownie, nudie, just beautiful loveliness. Let me show you what it looks like on. I mean, look at that. Just look at that. Mm. 
and I just love it because like I said it doesn't cake it doesn't crease you can just wear it all day you can put a gloss on top of it you can put a gloss underneath of it like I turn around and I will do my moisturizer I will put like this note cosmetics on as I'm doing my makeup and then we'll go over top with this brink and I just love it because again it just goes on so smoothly and evenly and it stays and I just absolutely love these lippy sticks from ColourPop I honestly really want the entire collection now no joke and there's never a time where I want an entire collection of anything you guys so I'm just saying if you get a chance to try out these lippy sticks from ColourPop they are absolutely amazing I got a summer color I got a winter and anytime color brink and day trip I absolutely love these things I definitely highly suggest you try these things out along with the blush sticks because they really are my new favorite products I'm not 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 even exaggerating Okay, so if you're still watching my video right now, you are my amazing, awesome, OG, loyal subscriber, and I absolutely love you for it. So this is what we're gonna do. Because I love these blushy sticks and these lippy sticks that much, I want to share them with one of you guys. So all you have to do is obviously be subscribed. You obviously have to have watched this video to this point because I'm not announcing this. This is only for my OG, loyal, awesome, and amazing subscribers that watch my videos all the way through okay and then you just need to quietly comment down below what color blushy stick you would like to own and what color lippy stick you would like to own if you don't know what colors they have I will put a, dis a link to ColourPop's website in the description box click on that link go on there go through the colors because I'm saying they've got hundreds of these lippy sticks right here and they've got tons of these blushy sticks so pick which colors you want one blushy stick one lippy stick comment them quietly down below you know what I'm saying and I will pick a random winner in a week a week from today and I will contact you I will purchase a blushy stick a libby stick and i will have it sent straight from ColourPop, straight to you from me to you for watching my video all the way through because you're amazing and i appreciate you and i want to share the love because honestly you guys these products are that stinking amazing i want you to see what i'm talking about all right all right let's get back to the video Okay, so as you can see, I added a little bit of gloss to my lippy stick. I just added something that I had sitting right here. So I just grabbed this Dominique Cosmetic Lemonade Lip Gloss that we got in our BoxyCharm um, because, again, it was just sitting right here. But I just wanted to show you what a gloss looked over top these uh, lippy sticks right here. So again, this is the color Brink, and, and that's what it looks like with a gloss over top. And the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, which I am not applying because I already did a eyeshadow look with it in the unboxing video that I did but it is this Chantilly Cosmetics Suns Out Buns Out palette I'm just saying you guys this palette I have never been so blown away by a palette before I mean it it literally for a 20 to 25 dollar palette and I mean it was on sale so I think some people even got it for 12 dollars um, if you're curious about it I will link it down below but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swatch a few colors here but I'm just saying like this, literally these products feel like high end luxury makeup. I mean, did you just see that mimosa? That's like one of my favorite colors, that orange. I love it so much. So if you wanna see me playing in this thing, I will link the video up here. Again, it was, um, what was that? Oh yeah, our Bijou Beauty Box unboxing video that I just recently did. This was an amazing and fun palette to play with and I love it. And the reason why we're not doing any palettes in this video is because I've got two dupes right here, bam bam, that we are gonna be filming in our next video. I got one from CC Color Cosmetics and one from, um, what was this copycat beauty that's right so if you are interested in watching that make sure you have your notification bell on and turned all the way to all videos notified because otherwise YouTube will only notify you about the videos that they think you want to see not the ones that you really want to see so anyways you guys that's all I have for you today I again hope you all have an amazing holiday week and weekend stay tuned for these dupe palettes because they are coming next I'm literally going to film them right now after I film this so 
I really hope you enjoyed all the products that we talked about in this video because they were amazing. They are my new favorite products. Like this is my new favorite makeup look right here. I just, I love it. Just absolutely love it. So I love these products. I am so glad that a lot of you guys asked me to try them out because I am really loving them and enjoying them. I mean, like all the way around. This is my new faves right here, guys. So anyways, that's all I've got for you today. I'm going to put a couple of videos here for you. I love you so, so much. Have a safe and happy holiday weekend weekend. Bye guys.